Alan Gutierrez, I'm a filmmaker. A long time ago, when I was a kid, I began as an actor in a film called Bandidos. Uh, it was a Mexican Western that takes place in Mexican Revolution. It was the first film of a great filmmaker such as uh, Luis Estrada, uh, Chivo Lubezki, Brigitte Brosh. Uh, actually, Guillermo del Toro was who made the makeup special effects. And years later, he made his first film. So uh, all these guys inspired me to study filmmaking. I think when I am at the set, you know, uh, it's the shortest time of all the time of, of all the film process, but I love it. Everything is prepared for that moment. I think I start telling stories right now. You know, I think uh, make sure films, videos, whatever. But it's important, don't wait that someone else gives you the opportunity. We need to make the things happen and make it now. As a filmmaker, I created my own film company to make my projects. And I also work as a filmmaking teacher in the university I study at. Uh, this industry is a lot of relations, so I think the best way to have opportunities is to show your work to others. Short films in festival, uh, through YouTube, Vimeo, show to the world what can you do. I think the most challenging is uh, to raise funds. You never know if your story will be a success, so it's... Uh, it's really challenging to raise funds. I think the technology, and with this, the way we're making films. So we have more possibilities. Actually, you can make a film with your cell phone. I think it's amazing, but, but as everything, we have pros and cons, I think. As I said before, because of that technology, almost everybody can make a film. So we're going to have a lot of competitors. But I think the key is in the story, uh, how we tell this, that story. Oh, it's a tough question. I, I think it's better to say that I sleep like three, five hours. Uh, because when I finish one day of shooting, I start thinking about the next day. So you need also a good physical condition. I think it's really, really important. Okay, directing a, a future film, uh, it's once every two years if you are lucky. But you were almost a year as a director to have your film ready. So uh, then you can direct commercial, TV series, or other productions. But a feature film is one year. It's all kind of conflicts, you know, uh, economic conflicts uh, with people, uh, locations, equipment, I think everything. But that's why I think it's so important to look what you do. So you are going to solve any conflict that you have. I think if you want uh, to work as a director, you can start, or, or maybe it's a good idea to start as a second, second assistant director, and then the next project, you can be second, second, and then uh, to be the first AD, so you are going to gain a lot of experience and you are going to be ready to direct your own film. I think it's important to lose the fear to failure. Uh, learn about it. And my recommendation as a director and my recommendation for director uh, is Take acting classes to understand your actors. I think it's really important. I think all is about relations, but in case that you don't have relations, 
uh, my recommendation, my, my advice is to make something amazing. I think everybody is looking for good content and all these guys are going to feel festival to buy content. So be prepared. Well, in this moment, I think uh, will be to sell my feature film. You know, I'm in post-production, so fingers crossed. Uh, and actually, I also, I'm writing a TV series, so let's see what happens. I think uh, you need to be yourself. Tell the stories that you like. Be prepared for the opportunities. For example, Guillermo del Toro made in the 90s this film, Chronos, a kind of a film that nobody in Mexico was making. But he loves that genre and he did it. And everybody knows what happened later with him. So I think it's important be yourself. Thank you. Never, never, never give up.